Hello, hello everyone and welcome! Hello Limanil, how are you doing today? Oh, did you did you start playing uh Bastafellows? I'm so curious. Hello, hello, I see you welcome. Are you guys ready for today? Honestly, I am so excited about today because we are playing amazing games. <laughs> Well, we still need to finish um, Tamaki's second chapter. Look at him. Oh, we were already on chapter two, okay. Let me fix this. I'm more excited for Crimson Flower. I am so excited about that one. <laughs> finally, after a month waiting, after the demo, we can finally play the full game. I <laughs> still don't like Tamaki. <laughs> Poor guy, look at him. Um, I did, I didn't get that far. Do you think... Um, that you like it? I mean, just a first impression. <laughs> I remember that when I first started playing Buster Fellows, I was like, oh my god, what do I do? <laughs> because the choices were timed um, at the beginning, so I was like, oh my god. <laughs> this is nerve wracking. Also, because I'm really bad at making choices and. Um, I usually play without a walkthrough, at least for the, my first playthrough. <laughs> and of course, I failed many times. Due to time constraints and this morning, they are working on a neighborhood's electric green. Oh, gotcha. What a pain. It's even more painful when you cannot play, not because of your choice. <laughs> Uh, Nathan with that suit or Tamaki who dragged a dying girl in that situation. <laughs> yeah, just Nathan over Tamaki. I know. I don't know though. I like the the dark side that Tamaki has because I suck. <laughs> but yeah, I actually am I I like it. I don't know why. I I like the whole Danger. <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure <laughs> Mira probably doesn't, <laughs> but I do. Okay, so we left off. We were still working at the flower shop. Uh, what you had discussed with me? Regarding moving the arrangements. Ah, sorry, I just... I didn't want the flowers to wilt. I wanted them to last as long as they could. Half an hour outside the cooler isn't going to make a difference. Oh, that's right, because she moved the arrangements from... Uh, into the cooler by herself, and she wasn't supposed to. Because her heart is weak, so she cannot really strain herself. And, in fact, she was about to collapse yesterday, but, like, Mr... Someone? <laughs> I don't remember the name saved us until Tamaki arrived and he got pretty mad. If you would have fallen or if it would have placed too much stress on your heart, then it could have been a bad situation. Oh. Luckily, there should be just about one hour left before power comes back. That's good. An hour is, isn't too bad. <laughs> I wouldn't mind the dark if it was assessing um, alternative universe kind of game. But once again, this is adventure. <laughs> yes, it's an adventure kind of thing, I guess. <laughs> I mean... I mean, yeah, I, I think it is kind of an adventure. <laughs> A pretty disturbing and 
dark adventure. Um, I'm sorry, I know that what I'm capable of. Don't baby me. I'm sorry. <gasps> oh, I got it wrong. Of course I did. It was weird when I got it right. I know what I'm capable of. Let's go. I know what I'm capable of, Tamaki. Please don't treat me as a f some fragile creature. I can lift a vase. I'm not treating you as a fragile creature. I'm a gentleman, Lily. Even if you were in impeccable health, I would want to carry the vases. Hmm. Ah. Uh. Okay. But Tamaki, I feel bad if you're lifting everything by yourself. I'm sure they can get heavy for you. Heavy for me? <laughs> I know, why don't I ask Will to come by? He may be able to uh, move the vases for us. Lily, do you think that I struggle with carrying the vases? I wouldn't say struggle, but those vases are really heavy, right? The one that I was carrying was medium-sized vase and it was really hard to hold. If you have to carry everything yourself, it can be very tiring. I just don't want to add an extra burden onto you. Oh, well, maybe we could ask Akuto to do it. Though you should probably ask him. That's not necessary. I'm capable of moving the vases to where they need to be. Jeez, I guess I really don't appear dangerous after all. <laughs> nope. <laughs> well, Tamaki, you struggle with that pain of yours. <laughs> oh, poor guy. He dies. <laughs> It just... I don't know. <laughs> dangerous. Why would you be dangerous? You are one of the kindest people that I know. I trust you with my life. <laughs> oh gosh. The irony. You shouldn't say things like that so easily. I don't. Uh. I'm not sure why, but my heart feels really warm right now. I try to shake off this GD feeling and return to my arrangement. I go to cut a flower and feel a sharp sting. Ouch! Are you okay? Yeah, just cut my finger a little. Let me see. Tamaki gently takes my hand in his and looks at my cut. It's a clean cut. It should heal easily and shouldn't scar. That's good. How do you know it's clean cut? It's a clean cut. Uh because I've done it to myself so many times. You just get used to the look of them. Does right. it hurt? It, here, let me get a band-aid. It's okay, you don't have to go through the trouble. I'll just run in under some water and call it good. Nope, we can't have you getting <laughs> blood on the flowers. Stay still and let me help you. Tamaki takes a band-aid and some medicine out of one of the drawers. Drawers? And returns over to me. His touch is so gentle as he places the medicine and wraps the band-aid around my finger. Let's pray he isn't tasked to take it then. That would actually add to the tragedy tag if the writer is so inclined. <laughs> Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised. He really is very handsome. I've always thought that he was good looking, but when he's like this, he's almost enchanting. He could be a model if he wanted to be. You really love to stare at me, don't you? Do you find me that fascinating? Hmm. <laughs> I, I wasn't staring. Really? Then I guess you were looking at me for an extended period of time. Why is that? Tamaki leans in closer to me and I can smell the slightest scent of his scent. He smells clean, like a fresh spring morning. Is it because you think that I'm handsome? That's what you told me last night, correct? Or was I imagining that moment? What? <laughs> I I'm imagining it. Without a doubt, imagining it. So you don't find me attractive? I guess you would think I'm an ugly old man then, huh? No, you aren't ugly at all. I look up at him. His face is so close to me. I immediately look back down to my bandage. If we were any closer, then we may have accidentally kissed us then. Kissed. My face is on fire. I really hope I'm not as red as I feel. Lily, look at me. 
I feel Tamaki's hand tilting my chin up. I can't help but look at him in the eyes. <laughs> You're so red. <laughs> no, he's really cute. I, I believe he's really, really cute. <laughs> Th that's because it's really hot in here. Honestly, Tamaki, you should cool this place down, otherwise the flowers will wilt. Tamaki lets out another small chuckle. Perhaps I teased you too much. I apologize. Jeez, seriously, Tamaki, you are not good for my heart. I go to move away, but Tamaki grabs my arm. His grip is gentle, but firm. What you said earlier. Did you really mean it? What I said earlier? That you trusted me with your life. <laughs> sure. <laughs> oh, yes I do. Why? I'm really embarrassed. I don't want to say, but his eyes seem to be searching for something. I feel like I have to answer honestly. Because when I look into your eyes... I feel safe. I feel that you are the only one in this world who can protect me. I don't know why. I know I probably sound crazy, but... Ever since you helped me with the panic attack, I felt like you are my savior. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm probably making things super awkward. I just didn't want to lie to you. Thank you for being honest with me. I'm sorry for grabbing you just now. Hmm. It's okay. Tamaki lets go of my arm let go of my arm and returns back to his work table. The flower shop is so quiet, it feels suffocating. I really hope my comment didn't ruin things between us. Lily. Yes? I'll keep you safe. I promise. There's a weight to his words, a weight that seems to settle in the room itself. My heart tightens at his words. He's such a kind person, but even someone as kind as him cannot save me from my heart. Thank you. I really mean it. His kindness is what's keeping me from drowning, so I guess in a way he's saving me while I'm still alive. After that, a silence drag drags on. Um, so is Akuto going to come back and finish the rest of these deliveries? Probably not. He only works for me as I need him. Jeez. I see. Tamaki goes back to working on his arrangement. How did you meet each other? I saved him once, and ever since he's been following me. Which characters so got my attention with their appearances? Brazen, let's go! <laughs> Eli, Nathan, Jay, and then Tamaki. Just me personally. I think... Um, for me... It's probably Brazen first place as well. Then... Mm, just from looks, right? Brazen... Maybe Jay. Then Eli. Definitely Nathan. And yeah. <laughs> And then Tamaki, Tamaki. I feel like I'm forgetting someone. Oh, Will! Actually, it's Brayson, Eli, Will, Nathan. Actually, Nathan, Will. Wait, wait, wait. It's Brayson, Jay, Eli, <laughs> Nathan, Will, and then Tamaki. Even though Will, I don't, fe I don't feel like Will is... Maybe Will is before Nathan, I'm not sure. <laughs> Saved him? Uh, he was getting bullied. He was younger then, so it wasn't hard to help him out. Oh wow, you were in a fight then, Tama Tamaki? I wouldn't really call it a fight. Did you get hurt? I put down my scissors and turned my attention to him. No, I didn't. That's a relief. I give him a soft smile. Did Akuto behave himself whenever I left you two alone? Not at all. <laughs> I think back to our interaction. He's a pretty brush person, 
But he didn't really do anything wrong. Right. <laughs> he didn't. Hello, Diana. Welcome, welcome. How are you doing today? I hope you're having an amazing day. Today we are continuing to play Tamaki's second chapter. Let me try again. Brayson, Eli, Nathan, Will, Jay, and then Tamaki. There you go. <laughs> Oh, I feel Tamaki's gaze on me. What did he do? Nothing, really. Lily? He just kind of pinned me to the wall and said some things that I didn't quite understand. What sorts of things? Well, I feel embarrassed saying it out loud. It feels like something naughty. I can't keep my gaze and look away. I'm pretty sure that I'm being... That I'm blushing. I hear footsteps and soon Tamaki is standing in front of me. His hand gently touches my cheeks and turns me towards him. I'm not a mind reader, Lily. I won't know what he said if you don't tell me. I won't know how to protect you if you're not straightforward with me. Yep. <laughs> protect me? My heart feels warm when hearing him say that. It's a bittersweet warmth. He told me that when he became tired of being your pet, to get in touch with him because he wants to have fun with me. He what? <laughs> I don't want to jump to the wrong conclusions, but if it's what I'm thinking is meaning, then it's a little embarrassing. Damn. Yeah, please punch him. It's okay. I'm sure he was just trying to joke around. He seems to be a very outspoken person. I'm sorry. That must have made you feel really uncomfortable. It's okay. It's over now. And he didn't do anything physically inappropriate. There's no uh, use dwelling over what happened in the past. Tamaki, I promise it's okay. He doesn't look convinced at all. Anyways... I guess I should get back to this arrangement. I do my best to act, though, tough, and turn back to my arrangement. I go to grab my scissors when a gentle hand touches my own. I'd say we're at a good stopping point. Why don't we go grab some dinner? You mean like at a restaurant? Tamaki nods. There's a restaurant that I would like to take you to. What do you say? I would love that. Then we should get ready. Okay. I quickly take off the apron and rush to go to get changed. I've never been to a restaurant before and I cannot wait to experience it. Oh gosh, imagine this poor girl though. Never having been to a restaurant. My look rating ra ranking would be Tamaki, Eli, Jay, Nathan and Will Brayson. Can decide there. <laughs> I like that ranking. I know my heart is racing too. <laughs> I look through my bags to try and find something that I can wear to the restaurant, but I don't have many clothes. I never spent much time outside the hospital, so most of my clothes are loungewear. All I really have is the dress I wore to my parents' funeral and this outfit that I'm currently wearing. I guess I could wear the black dress. It's been a few years since I put it on, but it may still fit me. Lily, are you dressed? I walk over and open the door. Sorry, I know I'm taking a long time. I'm just trying to figure out what to wear. Do you have a dress? That would probably be the best option. I have the one that I wore to my parents' funeral. That's the only dress I have. Would that be okay? Are you comfortable wearing that one? Mm, well... I don't really want to wear it, but I don't want to go to the restaurant dressed inappropriately either. Uh, give me just a second. I'll be right back. <laughs> okay. Is he going to get a dress for her? I watch as he walks back towards his study. Wait, does he have a dress? Why would he have... Oh, okay, let's not ask questions. <laughs> yeah, that's weird. <laughs> oh. Oh. 
every time he enters his study, there's this music. <laughs> I open the door to my study and look over at the corner of the room. Her bouquet sits on top of the dresser. I haven't touched anything in here since that day, but... I reach out and open the third drawer. Inside are multiple dresses. <gasps> huh? I reach out and pick up her dr red dress. <gasps> okay. This silky texture is one that I was all too familiar with. Surprisingly, the memories do not sting as bad as they used to. I place it up next to her bouquet and proceed to look through the clothes. Lily is about her same size. Oh my they have god. Builds too. That's about all they have in common though. Huh. She would have demanded that I go buy her a new dress, but Lily gets bashful and embarrassed at only having one. You guys, <laughs> what is he talking about? Why did she have her funeral dress with her at the hospital? I'm not sure. Well, I guess she had all of her stuff at the hospital because she never really had a home. Yeah, for real. Is this backstory going to be like the guy from Body Daddies? That's what I thought. I searched the drawer and find the gown that I was looking for. Margaret never wore this dress. Margaret. I had bought it for her, but she said it didn't suit her. Oh. I closed the drawer and returned to Lily. Who is this chick? <laughs> I hear another knock on the door and quickly open it. I don't know if you'll like this, but I have a dress that may fit you. Tamaki shows me the gown. It is absolutely beautiful. I take it in my hands and look at it. The dress is long with a lace top and it has a slit down the uh, side of one leg. It's gorgeous. Where did you get this? It was a gift for someone a, a long time ago, but they didn't want it. How could I not want something like this? I'm glad that you like it. I love it. Thank you so much, Tamaki. Uh, uh, it's no trouble. <laughs> You're so cute. Yeah, probably that girlfriend. Maybe. Tamaki looks away from me for a moment. He looks a little shy. I'm going to go get ready. I'll meet you downstairs, okay? Okay. I watched Tamaki go down the hallway before closing the door behind me. The black dress feels soft against my skin as I put it on. It drapes against my body in a way that I've never seen before. I feel so pretty. I wonder what Tamaki will think. For some reason, just the thought of seeing him blush or enamored with me makes my chest feel warm. Maybe I should do my hair and my makeup. I never really did it much in the hospital, but I want to look as pretty as I can. Looking through my suitcase, I take out my small makeup bag and look in the mirror. I hope I can remember the makeup te techniques that mom taught me. <laughs> of course he's shy, he gave her a dress from his dead girlfriend. <laughs> I swear this guy is like, keeping losing points. <laughs> Poor Tamaki. Mm. Yo, if this will get more tragic, if, M if MC died, too dang boy, <laughs> gonna have more pain for real. I finish getting ready, this is the best that I can do. I grab the flats that match the best with the dress and walk downstairs. When I get down there, I see someone standing near the entrance uh, to the house portion of the building. He's wearing a suit and his back is away from me. Is he here to see Tamaki? Did he wander in, fr uh, in from the flower shop? I thought the shop was already closed. Excuse me, sir, may I help you? The man turns around to face me. <gasps> this is him! <laughs> Whoa. Tamaki? Lily. Y you look so different. Uh, is it bad? Not at all, you look... Extremely handsome. Uh, thank you for the compliment. Aww. But I pale in comparison to you. 
Tamaki reaches out and takes my hand. The dress really suits you perfectly. Thank you. It's different from anything that I've worn before, but I really like it. I'm glad. Shall we go? I nod in response and Tamaki opens the door for me. The restaurant that he takes uh, me to <laughs> is a very nice restaurant. It has a very sophisticated vibe to it. We sit at the table and Tamaki orders some non-alcoholic -alco drinks. <laughs> wow, well, looks wise, he was not my type at all, but now I'm fully in love. I know, right? <laughs> You know the transformation when uh, in every freaking movie where the girl takes off her glasses and her braces, <laughs> she becomes beautiful. <laughs> I mean, he was in bed before either. Will this be? Uh, this will be the only time I will admit he looks good. <laughs> That's a high compliment coming from you for Tam Tamaki. I see you. <laughs> Right? <laughs> he really did turn the elegance factor up to 11. I agree. <clears throat> this is incredible. It's a really nice place. I look around and my eyes fall on the floor centerpiece on our table. Do you like them? Yes, this arrangement is really pretty. It fits perfectly with the atmosphere. I thought so too when I was making them. Oh, you made these? Yes. I do the flowers once a week for this restaurant. It's why I know so much about it. It's no wonder I felt a connection to the, I felt a connection to the arrangement. <gasps> oh. oh my god, I can't believe I said that out loud. Before either of us can say anything, the waitress walks over. She brings us our drinks and takes us our order before returning to the kitchen. By this point, the awkward moment has passed, so it's best to just pretend it didn't happen. So, do you come here often to eat? No, this is actually my first time coming as a customer. Really? Where do you usually go to eat then? I typically grab something fast or just eat at home. I don't like sitting in one place for too long. I can, st I can stop the small giggle. I knew that one. Huh? I know that you don't like staying at one place for too long, but I don't really know much more about you. There's not much to tell. Oh, I doubt that. I lean on the table and give him a mischievous greet. Let's play a game. A game? Yep, it's called Questionnaire. It's a game us hospital kids would play. Is it a trivia game? Nope, it's more of an icebreaker. The goal is to ask as many questions about each other as possible. The person who runs out of questions first loses. You can overlap or repeat questions either. Tamaki shifts a little in his chair. I'm not sure if I'd be good at that game. Sure you will. Tamaki doesn't look uh, convinced at all. Tamaki, we have known each other for years now, but aside from you being a florist and someone who is kind, yet fleeting, I let out a soft chuckle and look into his eyes. I don't know much more about you and I want to change that. Will you let me? You're really something, you know that? I'll go first. What's your favorite color? Light blue. Great, your turn. What's your favorite flower? Mm, I would say the dove orchids are my fa current favorite. You like them that much? Yes, they're beautiful and elegant. There's something more about them. They remind me of, be of being free. I'll have to get more of them for you then. Oh, you don't have to do that. They're expensive, right? It's worth it. I feel myself want to blush. So, is it your turn or have I won this game already? <laughs> no, you have not. What's your favorite animal? Uh, hmm? I don't really want to say. What? <laughs> So you'd rather lose? <laughs> Tamaki clears his throat and looks away from me. Is he embarrassed? Bunnies. Oh my gosh, look out! <laughs> Bunnies, of course. 
I'm sorry? My favorite animal is the bunny. Seriously? I like how soft they are. <laughs> it's not nice to laugh. Sorry, I think it's great, <laughs> honestly. Tamaki is bright red. It suits you. I can see you having a bunny over a bed. What's that supposed to mean? I just mean that you are gentle and kind. I'm sure even a tiny bunny would feel safe with you. Uh, I'm not kind. There's a heaviness in his eyes when he says that. Why does he think he's not kind? It feels as if he hates himself, but I can't understand why. I reach over and place my hand on his. You may not think so, but in my eyes, you are the one of the kindest people I know. You are someone that I feel safe with and that I would and that I know would never intentionally hurt me. Tamaki turns his hand over and laces his fingers in mine. I think that would be you, Lily. My heart feels warm in my chest and I look into his eyes. What is this feeling? I feel so drawn to him. Tamaki. If only you could see yourself through my eyes, then maybe you wouldn't be so hard on yourself. I keep that thought to myself as we continue our evening together. Oh. The dinner tasted fantastic. I don't think I've ever been so full. Tamaki told me that he was feeling tired after our dinner and wanted to get some rest. He excused himself after that and I haven't seen him since. I lay down and stretch out on the bed. My body is feeling tired and heavy, but I'm happy. This is so much fun. Living day to day, creating arrangements, laughing and talking with Tamaki. I look down at my hand. I can still remember how warm his touch was. We held hands a few times today. It's a little embarrassing to think about now. I wonder if it made him as nervous as it, as it made me. I look back towards the ceiling. Getting to learn new things about Tamaki makes me so happy. The warmth in his chest returns when I think about him. What is this feeling? Why do I get so nervous and happy around him? It's just getting worse at times as time goes on, but I don't want him to stop. I also don't want to stop learning about him. I want to know everything there is to know. Is this normal? Maybe I'm becoming a stalker. My phone dings and I quickly look down at my notification. It's from Jay. How are you feeling? Are you taking care of yourself? Please watch your heart monitor. It seems that your heart was slightly stressed earlier today. I wanted to be free, but I also wanted to be safe. Jay. Oh, Jay, I miss you. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> oh, gosh. Sorry. I promise I'm safe. I got a little nervous meeting strangers and it made my heart monitor go off. I'll be more careful from now on. I respond back to him and place my phone on the bedside table. I know Jay wants me to be safe, but I want to be as free as I can be, while I can be. Tamaki's face appeared in my mind and I replayed our night. His favorite color is blue and his favorite animal is a bunny. My soft giggle fills the quiet room. I want to learn so much more about this man. What, is his, what are his dreams? His hobbies? Thinking about this made me want to go talk with Tamaki once more. Well, some more. I really love spending time with him. My gaze finds its way to the clock on the desk table. 11 p.m. I wonder what time he wakes up. Maybe we can get breakfast together somewhere tomorrow morning. Well, as long as I'm not bothering him. I place my hand against my chest. Gosh, she's falling in love! <laughs> this is the first time that I've ever felt so happy yet so lonely. I really hope I'm not becoming a stalker. Is it normal to feel this way about someone? I always looked forward to seeing Tamaki, but it never felt like a necessity. My gaze turns to the clock. 11.02pm. This is going to be a long night. My heart monitor? I looked down at the small monitor on my chest and noticed the battery icon blinking. What? The batteries are already running low? That's not good. This is supposed to last at least a week. Regardless, I need to get batteries or else Jay will start to worry. 
The last thing I need is him forcing me to go back to the hospital. Standing up, I decide to go to Tamaki's room. I have to wake him up. I know he's trying to get rest, but I don't know where, where the batteries are or if we even have any. There's no answer. Tamaki, I'm sorry to bother you, but I need batteries for my heart monitor. Tamaki, are you in there? I do not hear anything from the room. It's strange. He is usually very aware. I hope he's okay. He seemed pretty stressed towards the end of the night. I hope that nothing bad happened. Tamaki, are you okay? May I come in? I turn the doorknob and find that it is surprisingly open. I I'm coming in. He's not in here. His room is very minimalistic. There's even less in his room than in my bedroom. I shouldn't look around his room. If he w he's in here, then maybe he went to his study. Closing the door, I walk over to his study. Once again, no answer. I know he didn't leave the house. I didn't hear the door ding. And he would have told me if he left, right? I go to turn the no doorknob, but it is locked. Tamaki, can you hear me? If you can hear me, please let me know that you're okay. Oh gosh. <laughs> He's falling in love too. I don't like this. She's, she's going to have a heart problems now, is she? <laughs> I really hope not. <laughs> of course he left. I think he left on a job. Oh, the key. I look at the key that is around my neck. I had placed it there for safekeeping. It said that it would work for my bedroom. I wonder if I can get into this room with it. I put the key in the hole and slowly turn. It's unlocked. Gosh, you're not supposed to go in there. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm coming in. He isn't here either. Where could he have gone? I look around the room. Unlike his bedroom, this room isn't as bare. It is very organized and clean, but there are many different things. I guess this is where he runs the administrative side of his flower shop. I shouldn't be in here, but as I look around the room, I notice a bouquet. It's covered in a glass container. I feel drawn to it. This bouquet is beautiful. Silk flowers of white, silver and light pur purple. Purple? I <laughs> create an almost enchanting design. There's a locket on the bouquet. It looks like a younger Tamaki and... a girl? This bouquet is for someone close to Tamaki. I look to the right of the bouquet and a beautiful dr red dress is next to it. It's gorgeous. I think back to the dress he gave me earlier. Maybe this belonged to his girlfriend? It must be really serious if she's left her clothes here. Does she know I'm here? When I asked Tamaki to let me stay with him, I never considered that he may have a girlfriend. I'll have to ask him about it later. I don't want to cause problem between him and the woman he loves. Maybe that's why he seemed slightly apprehensive about my request. I wonder if he's with her right now. I feel a pain in my chest. Is my heart acting up or is this tight feeling guilt? Right, I shouldn't focus on this. I need to find Tamaki to get the batteries. I, I want to forget what I just saw, just for tonight. I close the room and lock it behind me. Gosh! Oh, look at him! <laughs> he changed! <laughs> for an assassin, he's not cautious. <laughs> That's true! <laughs> Alright. Oh, I wonder what happened. Let's save. Wow. We only have Jay left. I guess Tamaki was something. <laughs> Personally, I really like it. I like the, the the mystery of it all, even though some stuff bugs me. <laughs> But I'm really excited to play 
uh, G's roots now. G's root now. Brazen! <laughs> I really wish we could play his root, but sad. Alright, now that we are done with Tamaki, we will probably continue playing Jay's route tomorrow. I mean, we will start his route tomorrow. Because now I am moving to Discord to play uh, the new Atomic game that came out today. Um, the Crimson Flower that divides flower, uh, Lunar Coupling. But I want to hear your thoughts on Tamaki. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe not. <laughs> well, well, I love him. He's dumb and he's so handsome. And his personality is what I usually like. Let's go. I just want to see the um, what's the the opening with you guys first. Well, if you want to join the Discord, I'll be playing the game on here. <coughs> mm. I don't like the assassin. <laughs> Uh, these two chapters are too little to decide on, on my opinion. That's true. It's always too little to decide. Oh my gosh, it's been a month since we played this game. Uh, can we watch the movie? So we're gonna play this game on Discord and um, oh my gosh I need to remember wait oh yeah because yesterday I did that oh my gosh I love this opening Very nice. Okay. I guess I will need like 15 minutes to prepare for Discord. Okay, thank you. No. <laughs> Why am I like this? Okay. I really hope you can be there. See ya. <laughs> Alright, you guys. Thank you so much for staying with me. 
I will see you tomorrow here again on Twitch. And we will be continuing Jay's... Um, well, we will be starting Jay's route in Glassheart. I will see you soon. I hope you have an amazing day ahead of you. Bye!